After being uprooted by war and fleeing eastern Ukraine, Katerina Melikhira and her two children, 8-year-old Ivan and 10-year-old Yulia, have found refuge in the Czech capital Prague. Melechira still can't quite believe that someone offered to pay her rent for a year. The Good Samaritan is Czech lawyer Josef Aljestki. Shocked by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, he felt he had to do something to help people displaced by the conflict. Poslal jsem nějaký peníze teda na jídlo, pak jsem poslal nějaký peníze na bomby, ale furt mě to jako úplně neuspokojovalo. E, takže vlastně jsem si řekl, že asi nejlepší bude jako e, vlastně si zkusit najít někoho jako konkrétního a pomoct. A když jsou to takhle děti vlastně malí, e, který vidíte, tak je to takový jako pro vás asi nejvíc e, jako uspokojivý a je to pomoc konkrétním lidem. Melechida fled the eastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv in early March. When Russian shelling destroyed her children's school Yulia, наш дом. and a teacher's house, she knew it was time to leave her home. Melechida and her children are among 360,000 Ukrainians who initially fled to the Czech Republic, according to the United Nations. They made it to Prague after a grueling journey through Romania, Hungary and Slovakia. Figuring it would be easier to integrate into a Slavic country, Malachita reached out to several churches in the Czech Republic. I called the second deacon and said, Katia, come. For about a month, Melahida and her children shared a room in the apartment of two parishioners, but they needed more permanent accommodation. In a chance meeting at this vegetarian restaurant, a Czech family invited Melahida to join them and put her in touch with Josef Aljeski, the Czech lawyer who wanted to help. Yulia and Ivan are now going to a Czech school. But thoughts of their home in Kharkiv are never far away. Ну, я скучаю за папой, за собакой, за домом, за друзьями. A new pet, however, helps Yulia and Ivan adjust to their new life in Prague. Как зовут ее? Фасолька. Анна Дмитриевна. And some family photos on the walls make the apartment feel more homey. Это мой муж в первые дни, когда мы забираем Юлю из детского дома. Самые самые первые счастливые дни. Due to Ukraine's ban on men leaving the country, Malahida's husband Alexander had to remain in Kharkiv to defend the city. И вы знаете, я скучаю. Само собой я скучаю. Я хочу на свою кровать, я хочу к своим друзьям. Но вы знаете, все мои друзья разъехались по Евросоюзу. Я в безопасности, это да. Но вы знаете. In Kharkiv, Melahida worked as a horticulturalist. 
She hopes she can soon find a job in Prague and start contributing to her adopted country. Конечно бы мне хотелось по моей специальности. Я выращивала растения у себя в стране, выращивала виноград, выращивала цветы, делала газон, делала озеленение. While the upheaval of the last months have taken a toll emotionally, Malahida is heartened by messages of support from her relatives in Russia. Они сделали бы все для меня. Ну, так как их тоже не пускают ни за границу. And despite the suffering she and her country have endured, Malakita says she tries not to harbor any resentment. В Библии сказано, что любите врагов ваших. Это очень сложно. Знаете, иногда нужно не справедливости, а по милости. Malakita says she has faith Ukraine will ultimately prevail. But for now, she's building a new life in the Czech Republic, thanks to the help of strangers.